According to Sean Ross Sapp, William Regal is gone from AEW after less than a year of being with the company. Tony Khan is set to address the situation in an upcoming media call, but rumors are already flying about the departure. Stephen Neal Hawson says, There's a lot to the story involving William Regal that isn't being told. EC3 then revealed in an interview that William Regal told him, I immediately regret this decision. There's very much a maturity issue within management. Justin Labar also shared his version of events per sources. He claims that Regal is, quote, close with Triple H, but also his wisdom and coaching weren't appreciated the way that you would think by some of the AEW locker room, who feel they have six-figure multi-year deals, and Regal's advice is behind the times or beneath them. This is where AEW star Brian Pillman Jr. stepped in to say, This is not entirely true. There are several of us, myself included, who spent multiple hours before TV working with Regal and learning from him. Should there have been more? Maybe. But he and Danielson always had a solid audience around the ring before TV. Labar responds, I'm glad you're speaking out because the biggest of what I said was some. If you or any others were picking his brain, good on you and best of luck. Pillman Jr. replies again with, I know you said some. I just didn't want the narrative to be that he was just standing there preaching to the air. Some days there would be 10 guys out there soaking it in. Some days it would be me Wheeler and Lee. I didn't mind when his attention wasn't spread thin. Labar pretty much ended the exchange, projecting great things for Pillman Jr.'s future, and the two settled the conversation amicably. As more and more stories come out, it's becoming apparent that William Regal leaving AEW had a lot to do with his time in the company, not just his affinity for HHH and WWE.